Hello Garden Brewers, uh, today we have a perfect opportunity to show you how to uh, hand pollinate your flowers or your vegetables. When you're in the greenhouse or indoors you need to do this because there's no bees. Here we have a male squash plant. Uh, one method is to take a paintbrush and just paint across the male parts there. Uh, let see if I can get this focused. Oh, there we go. Try that again. Paint across the male parts. And this won't focus too well. Now, let's take my word for it. The brush has got a lot of pollen on it. And you're going to go over here to a female plant. And you're going to brush that pollen right onto the female parts there. And that's all there is to it. Now hopefully we'll have some big zucchini coming in in a couple weeks. Now your tomatoes to self-pollinate. They are self-pollinating. They both have male and female parts in the same flower. All you really need to do is go into the flowers here and vibrate them a little bit, shake them up, smack them with your fingers there. And that's about it. You can also use, a lot of people recommend an electric toothbrush. Go in there and vibrate right behind the flowers. I need to get one and try that out, but for now I'm just flicking the flower bases. And hopefully we're going to have tomatoes here soon. I'm going to prune these up a little bit more. So that's it for pollinating of the tomatoes. I have cucumbers here. They're the same as squash. You can find the male flower. And kind of hard to show in here, but let me go back here to the squash and show you. A male flower that is just a stem behind the flower. While the female flower here has like a baby zucchini or a baby cucumber or whatever behind it. And that's the female flower. Let's go back to this cucumbers. This will focus here. You can see right there that would be a female. It has like a baby cucumber right here. So when you find a male, which that's not big enough, I think that's going to be a male one. I think I used the male ones already. I think I already pollinated these two yesterday. But uh, you find a male and get the pollen, you can use a brush. Or you can even pick off the male flower, peel back the petals exposing the male parts, and use that to brush your uh, female parts. Now this is a good example of the male part. If it would focus. There we go. And you just peel the petals back and take that male part and brush it against the female part, putting pollen on it. If you don't have a paintbrush, here's the other quick way to pollinate your uh, plants, the squash plants. Let's find the male here, peel back all the petals. I'm going to go ahead and do that. My phone's in the other hand, so one second. I'm back. Oops, there we go. It's all peeled off. Make sure you don't knock all the pollen off. Find yourself a nice female and go at it. And I mean by painting the female parts with the pollen. Make sure you get them all. I think this is actually the better method if you have plenty of males. Paintbrush, it's sometimes hard to get the paintbrush uh, loaded with uh, pollen. That's, that's the only female plant we have here. That's another male there. We've got a lot of males coming in. Male domination. Anyway, that's the best way to do it, is peel off the uh, petals and go at it on the female. Cucumbers, a little bit harder. Cucumbers, you probably shouldn't need a paintbrush or Q-tip. I'm going to try the Q-tip method because I have a lot of plants coming in here. But the male plants don't have a... I don't know, they don't have a uh, obvious male protrusion. There's a male plant right there, it's just so small. 
I think he's uh, self-conscious. So we're going to try Q-tip on that guy a little bit later. Anyway, there you go.